The air is super thick. They're just laying in here and breathing it. Trust me, I've tried to put them in other rooms to save them. And she used to actually not gas them. Because I think she understood that they were no longer a threat, so they didn't need to be gassed. But then she just turned into a more and more cruel and sick person. So despite the fact that they were in another room, despite the fact that it was unnecessary to gas them, she would do it anyways. Because why? Because she knew it bummed me out. She's literally the epitome of every evil thing you could ever imagine existing in the world. And right now, she's somewhere outside of this home, or inside, waiting to sadistically torture and rape my body when my vagina right now is in an extraordinary amount of pain. Everything, my fingers, my arms, my wrists, my neck, my spine, my feet, my legs, my hair's been cut off. That's what she did. That's what she did last night at the Comfort Inn in Oregon, in Portland, Oregon. That's what she did with her fucking life. Her sad, sad demon fucking life. And you know these pieces of shit next door? They're fucking helping that bitch. They're fucking helping her. How fucking sick are they? Fucking demented motherfuckers.